main things you're going to need are a glue gun. This is just a regular little hot glue gun. A little clip, whatever kind of alligator clip. Um, I like the kind with the little grips on them so that it holds her hair better. Um, so just whatever kind of alligator clip or whatever you're going to do um, to put it in her hair. You're going to need one of these big ones. I got these at Sally's. Um, um, you're going to need a lighter or a match or something to um, seal the ends of your ribbon so it doesn't fray. You're going to need some um, yarn. And this is just, um, I don't even know, I don't chewed it. But yeah, this is just you're just going to need some um, thread. Um, I just have an extra glue stick because mine's almost out. And some scissors. And then, of course, the main thing is the um, ribbon. And I just got the ribbon that would match the outfit. This is the outfit that we will be doing it for. So, this outfit, I'm doing an, a bow to match this outfit. So, it has blacks. It has zebra. It has red polka dots. It has some green. I wanted to throw some of that green and make that green pop. Um, some just different kind of black, some skinnier black, plain red, and then some white. And yeah, pretty much just have fun with it. Just kind of see what kind of patterns your outfit has or anything like that. And just kind of go from that. Add as much ribbon or as little ribbon. You do not need this much ribbon. You can use two, two different kinds of ribbons or however many you want. You can use more, you can use less. Um, I just kind of want to use a ton of different ones just to make it pop more. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your ribbon, go ahead and make sure it's even out and everything, and you're going to want to make your first loop. So just turn it to the side that you don't want to be the main side, which in my case is black, and do your first loop. So I just brought it over, just bring it over, and then just loop it. Go ahead and fix your loop however big or whatever you want it. Um, I like making Addy Big Bows, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a big bow because it's Christmas and you can never go wrong with a big bow. So you want to make sure you leave a tail. So see how there's a tail there? You want to make sure you leave one. Um, I think it makes bows look cuter. You can always trim it down later. Okay, now you're going to want to take this other loop and bring it back up as well. And then you want to just get it to be the same as this first loop or as close to the same. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but you do want it to look kind of the same. The same size. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now you want to make sure you keep a hold of the center. If you let go of the center, then you have to start all over. And believe me, it gets really frustrating after a while. So your tail is back here. This is a tail that you left at the beginning. You're going to want to take this and you're going to want to loop it around and bring it behind the tail and tuck it in. So you're tucking it in between the back of the first ribbon and the tail. And you're just going to want to make sure that these two loops right here are the same size or as close to the same size as you can get them. They don't have to be perfect. Believe me, you will not be able to notice. Especially if your bow comes out super cute, which it will, you will not notice if it's a little uneven. So don't worry. Some of Adeline's have come out uneven before and it's completely fine. So you're just going to want to go ahead and make sure all your loops are pretty even. Making sure that they're pretty nice and even. So just work at it till so they're nice and even. Alright, so those look good to me. So now since I don't trim my ribbon up before, then I'm just going to go ahead and trim this off right now. So I'm just going to cut off the excess ribbon. So now it's free. Now it's just like this. Now that you have that, you are going to want to grab your clip, which don't let go of the middle still, guys. Um, get this little clip and just go ahead and slide it right through the middle. Alright, so now that you have your bow how you want it and it's clipped and everything, you don't have to worry about that. So go ahead and just grab your string, your um, yarn or whatever. What is this called? Like, whatever. Thread. And go ahead and take a big piece of it. Um, this is what's going to be kind of holding your bow together. So if you can find the embroidery thread... Um, get that because that is way stronger than regular thread. See how thin that is? You can barely see it on the screen. So anywho, okay, what you're going to want to do is basically just wrap the thread around your bow. 
So you're going to take one end of your thread and just go ahead and put it through and then pull it out the other side and then do the same with the other side of the thread. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. There are a ton of better bow tutorials out there. Um, I'm no, I'm, I know how to make bows, but I'm not like a, I don't like sell them. I do sell them, but I don't sell them like, you know, I don't have like a company or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to teach people. Um, go ahead and flip it over once you have it on both sides. So now it is on both sides. You can see it right here. I think, I hope you can see it. There's one end. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tie it. So you're just going to do a basic knot um, and just knot that through like so. Just like a really simple basic knot. And don't pull it tight. That is the main thing. You do not want to pull it tight until you have enough of the um, string going around it that it would actually hold it closed. Because it's not, if not, it will ruin your bow and you'll have to start over. So go ahead and just after you put pull the knot through, then go ahead and just redo the first step all over again. And just keep doing that. Pull it through. Flip it over to the front. And tie that with a knot and once again don't pull it through I would say do it at least four to five times um, you can see the strings right there do it at least four to five times before you pull it um, pull it tight so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep doing that a few more times Okay, so you usually want to end it at the back, so go ahead and just do the same thing, just a regular knot, but this time you're going to pull it tight. So go ahead and pull it tight, and you can see that your bow is formed. There's your bow. So you're going to go, go ahead and want to slip this out of there. Keep holding your bow just in case it is not super tight. You're going to want to just wrap the string around the bow that you just made. And just keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. Cut off this little excess string that's hanging there. And then you just want to take your hot glue gun and go ahead and just glue that little the strings down so that they don't fall apart. Alright, so your basic bow is pretty much done. It is um, pretty big. It's as big as my hand. Um, you just want to, you know, take a look at it. Make sure it's what you want and everything, which is... I, it is what I want. So now to take care of the little tails, you have one back here and you have one up here. What you want to do is just take your scissors and then just kind of cut diagonally. You can make it into whatever, however you want it. I just cut diagonally. And I don't like a lot of the tail to show. So you just cut it and then just take your lighter and go ahead and heat seal that. You just want to run it through the ribbon. Just so that it's not, the fabric isn't, um, the ribbon doesn't fray like it is on here. That's what you want to prevent. So go ahead and switch to this side. So that's your basic bow. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the bows that are going to be used to complete this. Now we're going to do um, the pinwheel that is going to go behind this bow. So that's another super easy one and I'm about to show you guys how to do that one. Okay, so for the pinwheel, you're just basically going to want to take whatever bows you want in the back. The pinwheel is just going to go around the back of the bow. Um, the re how you get um, the size that you need, you basically just get your basic bow, which is going to be the one that goes on the bottom. And you just kind of measure and give it about um, maybe like half an inch to an inch on each side just to play it safe. And just go ahead and cut that. So I'm going to say right here and go ahead and cut that. And then just cut as many um, as you want. I'm going to go ahead and cut all the different ones I want about this size. So see how you want, because you want them to stick out a little bit from the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some more different colors and all that. And then I'll show you guys how to put it all together. All right, guys. So I went ahead and cut um, two of the lime green ones, two of the red polka dot ones, um, four of these black ones, and then two of these smaller red ones. They don't have to be the same size. They can range, and I may or may not use all of these. Um, I, I don't know how my pinwheels... What I do to cut the ends of these is I go ahead and take a piece, and I go ahead and fold it in half, and then I go ahead and fold those two together as well. So I just fold that together like that. And then I just take my scissors and cut it at an angle. Okay. 
like so. And then to make it easier, um, I just keep holding it and then I just go ahead and heat seal while I'm still holding it all together. And then just go ahead and open it up before they stick together. Like they did a little bit, but it's not bad. And then if you did, if you missed some pieces, go ahead and just go back and heat seal those. You don't want any um, ends coming out. So that's how I'm going to be making these, that kind of end. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. crossing them so just go ahead and take that and just kind of you just kind of want to make sure that they're pretty even so I think that works pretty well and then I'm going to go ahead and just take a black and just put that next to the red and you can just pretty much layer these however you want there's no order that they need to go in um, it's just basically your preference whatever you prefer um, whatever you feel works best for you or easier or whatever All right, so that's how mine turned out so basically that's how you have it now we're pretty much going to do the same thing that we did with the bow you're going to go ahead and take this little clip too and just try to hold one side down so it doesn't move and then I usually go and do it upside down. It's just easier. Um, and you just slide it through the middle. Like so. Just make sure it's in the middle. And you're going to want to make sure that these are even. And then pretty much all you're going to do is the same thing we did with the bow. Just go ahead and take your string, your thread. Go ahead and cut a long piece of it again. And then we're going to do the same exact thing that we did with the bow. Just wrap it around it, um, do a knot, and then just keep doing it around five or six times. And then you pull tight. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quickly. All right, and that is what you're left with on that part. So it's really cute, simple. You could, I should have added another polka dot going across here, but that's fine. You won't be able to, it won't look bad. It'll still look nice. And then um, pretty much that is going to be the back of the bow. It's going to be just like that. It's going to be a very, very big bow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just glue this part down to the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just grab the glue and just stick it. I like to use a good amount of glue. Just go ahead and put it on the back of your bow. And then what you're going to do is just go ahead and put it on that middle. Just line the two middles up together. And just push it down and hold it. Make sure it's you're holding it down so that nothing comes undone. Alright, so now that you have that put together, you just want to take some hairspray. They have um, a thing that they sell at Hobby Lobby and all that called Stiffen Quick, I think. And that works so much better, but since all I have is hairspray, um, that's what I'm going to use. This does leave a scent to it, like a hairspray scent, but it doesn't really bother me. It's not. I'm not selling this one, it's just for Adeline, so um, we can deal with it. So you just want to spray over it. And that just hardens it up so that it doesn't get flat on you. Um, or it doesn't like, you know, um, so it just stays. It looks so much better if you do this. So that's what we have so far. So I just have a little piece of the little fluff. Um, you can buy it. They have different kinds, different shapes and all that um, at Hobby Lobby and all that. But I'm going to stick with this one. So all you're going to want to do is just find how you want it. And then just go ahead and just put some glue in the middle of your bow. And... I kind of just put it like along the sides too just to make sure it stays down and then just go ahead and push it down onto it and then that's pretty much it it's really easy to make this bow just make sure it's on there 
All right, guys, now that you have your main bow done, um, you can still add something to the middle if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this just so the white can pop out of it. Now you just need to get your clip and then um, clip that to the back of it, and I'll show you guys how to do that. It's really, really easy. All right, so you're going to need your little clip. Like I said, I just used like an alligator clip. So you just need that, and then um, some ribbon. I usually use white. Um, you can use whatever. You just need it thin. I think this is 7 eighths of an inch. Um, it's 3 eighths of an inch. So you're going to just go ahead and take that. What I like to do is I put it just a little bit on the tip right here. You're going to want it to keep it opened up, and then just put some right here on this tip. And then don't close it because then it will stick together. So just like clip that in there. Once it's clipped in there, then you can close it. Then you're going to go ahead and just put some glue all over the top of it. So now that you have that, just put some glue on top of that. And then you're just going to take your bow. And you are going to just put that on the back of it. Just like that. Just push it down. Make sure it's on there. Try to make it in the middle. And just pull off any excess. Now it is on your bow and you can just clip it. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is the bow. It's super easy, super simple, super cute. You can do it with any other colors. You can do any size, anything like that. And I'll show you guys it next to the outfit. Um, I didn't want to do too much since the outfit is um, pretty... Um, you know, it's not a plain outfit. It has a lot of details to it. So I didn't want to put too much on the bow, which is why I didn't do it any bigger or any more extravagant. But this is still super cute. It still brings the outfit together. And I'll show you guys the outfit and the bow next to each other so you can see. So there is the bow along with the outfit. Let's see if I can put it right here. You guys can see it works perfectly with the outfit. Brings it all together. And I really, really like how it turned out. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any other requests for any type of bow, um, let me know. And I will try to get it done. I hope this helped out the people have the, who have been requesting bow videos. It's kind of really hard for me to film them. I'm still, I know how to make them. It's just, it's hard to teach somebody else to do it. So I hope you guys got some ideas and you like it. So there's one more glimpse of the bow. And yeah, guys, see you next time.